Well, hundreds of thousands of Canadians suffer from Crohn's and colitis, but new research and new medications are giving hope to people with these diseases. And that's why next Sunday's Gutsy Walk is so important. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. Gavin Kirolf was diagnosed with Crohn's when he was eight years old, and he spent most of his life battling the debilitating disease. It's had a big impact on my life, on my education, on my personal life. Obviously, with chronic illness, it takes a lot of time out of your day to day. It also took a toll on Gavin's family, and he was symptomatic long before he finally got a diagnosis. It was really hard because it was very difficult to get a diagnosis. Um, from a very early age, his gut was not right, and we knew it. And we had to really push um, to figure out what it was. But thanks to new medication, Gavin's been in remission for the last four years. It feels really good, and being healthy after being so long unhealthy uh, has led to a lot of positive changes, a lot of relearning how to do certain things, and um, being active in new ways and trying new things. Ulcerative colitis only affects the colon or large intestine, while Crohn's disease can affect the entire digestive system. Both conditions prevent the body from properly digesting and absorbing food, and they're more common than you might think, with one in every 140 Canadians battling Crohn's or colitis, and all too often suffering in silence. For like the three years that I was really sick, I could barely work. Michelle McCann was one of them, afraid to tell people about her diagnosis and how much she was struggling. I had to have surgery in 2017 after multiple hospital stays, and then now I'm on new medication, so I'm doing well and in remission. New, life-changing medication wouldn't be possible without research, and that's why this year's Gutsy Walk is hoping to raise $3 million across Canada. It creates all these funding opportunities so that companies can create new drugs, so there can be new research projects to find you know, other ways as well for people to feel better. It's because of things like the Gutsy Walk and the fundraising that Crohn's and Colitis Canada does that enables the research for these new medications. And it's, it's groundbreaking work and it helps so many people. It's helped Gavin, and that's why it's important for him to give back, volunteering for the Victoria chapter of Crohn's and Colitis Canada. It's been a great source of, of community and, and fun, volunteering with the Gutsy Walk and with all the different fundraisers we do. This year's walk in Victoria is June 2nd at Cedar Hill Golf Course. To register or make a donation, go to gutsywalk.ca. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.